I do wonder if you get put in low priority, it matches you with worse and worse players. Like this game, I'm the only blue in my team was a free loss. This game, the matchmaking, they have two blues, three greens. We have two grays, three greens. In one of my games, this is my jungler. If you look at his rank solo, he's lost every single game that he's played in the last like month, I think. And in that game, he's juggling against this guy who's winning all of his games. I think he's this guy's boosting or something. Towards the end of that account's life, as soon as I started getting like the 10 and 15 minute low priorities, it felt like I was getting free losses, but I will have to keep more of an eye on it. This game, I'm like, I can mid or top at the Aatrox. This guy is not having it. He's like, you're mid. And this guy's like, please don't Teemo mid. We need a control mage or assassin. What is with these people? And like, I have no dodges left. I'm saying... <laughs> Yo, what the heck? That was some epic dodge bait. If he does actually send the fountain, big ups to him. I'm trying new team build this game, not just with my sums, but with my runes as well. I'm not sure how well this is going to work in a cat. They're losing bot already, which who could have predicted that one? Ezreal is blaming the Lux. Who could have predicted that one? The Rankin is doing a good job of uh, figuring out where he is. Oh man, I got stuck there. Oh. He still has flash, and our Warwick is power farming by the looks of it. Yo, I was watching him farm that, I was like, yo, this is weird. He flashes and smites at the same time. Bro, look at that bot lane, 50 to 29. I'm 50 to 21, but I'm not getting that many kills. Oh, maybe my IP address is just in toxic queue. Holy hell. This is brutality. This is real pain. Oh man. Did we actually win this, I think? If like the guy just stays, I think we win. My god, like how do you just hit that hard? Look at the cat, like she just got annihilated. And that was the issue. Like how many people said that you know Teemo mid was the problem in the lobby? I think I honestly 4v... This guy's dead, I think. I don't know if one for ones are worth. Enemy is godlike, dude. What the hell? They're your first tower as well. It's like he's hacking the game and he can basically choose any item at this point. Works at 32 CS at 9 minutes 30 seconds. I'm gonna queue jungle main for my second game and I'm gonna see if I can beat that. I have kind of a theory on the game now, which is that laners are just kind of the support for the jungler. I'm 24 CS at 3 minutes 18 seconds. Warwick was 33 CS at 9 minutes 45 seconds at last game. You can bait that. If you just bait him to go on you, just go. You can just bait him to go on you. I'm literally here. Nice. Oh, okay. This guy's level three, I'm level five, what the heck? He flashed. Bro, these people are slow, man. I'm okay with them getting that. I want to get this no matter what. It's 150 gold still for me. Bro, they're slow though. It feels like they're playing with like 800 ping or something. So what happens when you lose your first game. I think I sold this, this uh, Teemo. He's going to be chilling in the bush, I guess. He's right here. You can actually see him. What the heck? I'm just gonna shove this. Let's give myself some levels. Teemo's no uh, TP, so it's fine. This farm is not gonna be going to Teemo. Just give me some more levels. I'm gonna be not getting as much gold from like the last few minions, I think, though. No, I'm actually good. So I'm 44 CS at six minutes. I didn't see when I got the 34 CS, but uh, I'm beating my jungle that I had last game by quite a bit. Yeah, okay, I don't know about going on the Cassio there. To be honest. Nice. Give him a double. He deserves it. And a server is disgusting. <laughs> Holy. Oh, okay. I can't even laugh at that. I didn't see what he said. Okay. All I saw was the part where he said I had to carry four disgusting pieces of poo poo. I didn't see the, you know, other part. I'll just block it out so you guys won't even know what I'm saying. Oh, I meant to give him the. Whatchamacallit. 
all right, all right you can have that maybe this will be its own video nine minutes game is over the teemo is just going crazy in chat i have to mute though because of what he said earlier but i don't think susan would like to see the teemo's rhetoric in my videos oh 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 <laughs> no bro wait i got the herald right yeah i did what the hell our instincts are sharp he's up here i think an ally has been slain maybe not wait what gp died where is timo the heck is going on i'm so confused gp died here and then timo i thought i checked every bush for him like i was kind of uh i kind of fell back in my chair after that play where i killed the yi and then stole the herald like that is just devastating right but then like what happened top i have to watch the replay i'm gonna get force of nature rush i think that counters timo <laughs> i can't hear his autos that's weird maybe it's because he's muted Holy hell. What? I have to get a spear, spear Bist, I guess. Holy cow. I should not have done that. I just potentially threw the game. I mean, my lanes are winning, so it's okay, I guess. But GP's literally running it. What GP needs to be doing is getting Spear Vistage, not me. So he can just find the Teemo and then I can run him down. You shouldn't be making your jungler itemized to fight your lane. Like, you should be itemized to fight your lane. Just, you know, for anyone who's wondering what to build on GP. Like, if you're that far behind, just go Spectre's Cal. It's okay. It's better to get flame for going an off meta build than just losing. So we did win that Uder game. That you also ended up dying like 15 times. It was just kind of not really something that I want to uh, put out there. A lot of cringe. It does suck that I'm on a new account already, but uh, I don't know. Maybe what I should do is just play this game only when I'm really feeling it. Like maybe I'll take a break after a week. I've said this before in a video, but like I need to take a break for like a week after like three games, I think. And just play other stuff. Like there's so many other games out there that uh, I'm sleeping on right now when I post leak content. This guy's pretty dead, I think. Holy hell, I did. Timo puts out the damage. I went too hard on that. I should have just played it a bit slower. That guy's pretty good, I think, actually. Like, the way the Graves played that wasn't terrible. Basically, the way this matchup goes is you survive till 6. And, like, when the Ivern ganked, I still cringe about that a little bit. Although, I kind of just went on the Teemo. I'm going unsealed as well, just to help my scaling ability, I guess. You'll see once I get 6, the lane's going to just be much cooler. Oh, well, you done goof, I think? Hmm... A little limit testy gameplay. Graves is top side. I gotta shove this though, I think. I think I don't know. I don't know what the play is here. Limit test. I lose maiden if I die, which is like a lot of pressure lost. Hey, Graves didn't go for that one. He knows the team was about to leave, I think, after that first death, so he's playing it really carefully. Yeah, what I do really like about this lane is York has the advantage right now with Holebreaker being so powerful. Even if I die to the Teemo earlier, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Like, there's not really that much power in the items that I had. Like, I had a couple of longswords. I went three longswords. I could have just as easily gone Doran's shield. Like, this is how the lane goes. If he gets caught by my cage, it's over. Teemo done? Dude, look at the freaking power though. I have 2500 gold. I'm just run over this fool. What the heck is the damage on that? What? I just one shot that. Fighting over here. Hit the graves with my E. I got to upgrade on my maiden too, which is nice. It gives her more HP. 
at 2200 HP. I'll just push bot. So trying to figure out the mythic that I go. Maybe like Sunfire, actually. I didn't even think about going a tanky mythic. I was just going to rush into Death Stance next because they have a lot of bursts with Cat and Graves. But I think maybe Sunfire could be the way. Let's get Death Stance now, though. This guy's dead, I think. I don't think the uh, Graves can do anything. He doesn't have like the damage to burst through a death stance right now. I only say that because like he was just mid, but I guess he ran down a bot. Dude, Yorick is so powerful with the fact that the tower does not focus maiden at all. I swear it used to. Like he used to prioritize her, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe I just didn't know the power. It's another flash. He just got cat's flash too. They're scared. I don't know, we can just ARAM for a little bit. They have a blitz, so it's like... I'm just gonna heal. Just run away from that. Good initiation. Was it planned? I'll let you decide. I don't mind tossing out the heal though. It's just an unsealed summoner. I wasn't even sure what to get. I just picked something before the fight. Team did over commit that, I guess. After the fight, they lost two. Like really far after the fight. It was like 40 seconds after the fight, I think. But yeah, I really like this build. Seems really powerful. I could go Frostfire still maybe. 100 health and 6% size or 5% tenacity and slow resist and 50 health, and more AoE damage. Frostfire slow might be good though. Let's go Frostfire, sounds more fun. I think it might give me more range with my shovel too. I predict this Teemo. If I had a guess, signing out momentarily. Yeah, this could be like the perfect Yorick build for this game, actually. I'm feeling so good about this. Into their burst lineup, like a lot of Yorick's will just rush Divine Sunder, like no matter what. A lot of people will do that with the champions, they'll just rush the same item every game. You'll see it more with ADCs, I think, more so than anything. Hopefully Maiden actually doesn't hit that. No, Maiden. Run, Maiden. No. They want her so bad, but she's so fast now. They can't. But yeah, I need to start grouping with the team. The enemy has a blitz, so they could definitely engage something. Looks like, um... The Teemo should be forcing with his team, I think, for sure. Like, if Teemo's there, they actually might do really well in that fight. Look, look at how many people are low. Frostfire until what, though? I don't want to ruin the build. I feel like it's perfect right now. Can't buy an item, because I have to put some thought into it. I'm not sure about this one. Oh. No, Maiden. No, Maiden. Come back to me. Oh, they try to alter. Can't let Maiden die, dude. She's way more important than these teammates. That's what Teemo needs to be doing. Grouping with his team, not covering the split pushing Yorick. I think the enemy might win off of that. The Nautilus has been playing really dumb. He's just kind of forcing fights that like don't need to be forced. I think I'm just gonna go Spear Visage. I'm not sure if this is gonna ruin the build, but I'm pretty pressured here to be strong for the next fight because I think they're doing Baron right now. They should be doing it. But yeah, my goal right now is to be really tanky, have them hook me in, I start the fight, and then we hopefully win the fight. That is real damage. Negative damage. I can also tank the mushrooms, which is good too. Spear of Hissage gives me the extra regen. I think I initiate this. This guy flashes, tries to run. There's their graves out of the fight. You see like how the Nautilus is just a mega weirdo? Let's just go Baron. We can just go Baron. This is what's been happening in every fight, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see what's what's going on. The Nautilus flashes in when no one's even close. Yeah. We can fight it, actually. It's not really, like... Mega weirdo, dude. Oh, no, not the Yorick talk. Oh, no. Oh, no, not that. Not the we need you, Yorick. Oh no. Dude, the maiden just got 2,000 health for getting level 16, by the way. I literally took out the Graves solo in that fight. Like, I don't know what more you want. You're, uh... I can zone by myself, maybe? We'll see. It's an interesting fight, dude. Super interesting. Maiden's... Maiden might have to die for this, for their sins. 
he got it. So get out. Get the hell out of there. Do not participate in that nonsense. Absolutely. Get the hell out. Maiden might get out too. Oh no, Maiden. No. What if I can stop the dragon without Maiden? I don't think so. Like Maiden is necessary. I can just push mid though. And the Maiden's gonna be up in 20 seconds. She will be with me shortly. I'm gonna be having people coming from my... Oh, maybe not, actually. We're good. You see where they're recalling for some reason. Feel very comfortable right now. My E does like a good amount of damage, feels like. It slows as well. What is this Ivern positioning? It's like very weird. Deadmans would be good, but Titanic Hydra seems like you get a lot of nice stuff from it in terms of synergy with the build. This is where like my build is gonna come and clutch. I have 4.4k health, ton of resistances, and I can, you know, tank team of mushrooms to help get vision. I can group with them, even though I have hole breaker, which lowers my stats when I'm near them, I can still help them push out lanes. When you're split pushing or when you have the hole breaker build, a common thing that I've been seeing when I've been playing these games is people will just only go side lane no matter what, like every situation they get, even when their team is like no vision, they'll just rush into the sideline. It's like, you can play that way, but it's not gonna, you know, be the most optimal thing to do necessarily. Like one minute till these objectives, 100% I need to be grouped with these guys and we need to get vision and we need to not deny the enemy vision so we can set up the objective. We have a minute to clear a team of mushrooms basically. The cat's top side, so we just force an engagement potentially. Maiden has 6,000 health, by the way. Holy cow. I don't know what Lucian's doing exactly. We should all be here, because the cat's not here. This is like a fight we need to take. I don't know why Lucian... Lucian just wants to split push. He's a split pushing Lucian. This is 100% a force fight. Maiden's getting smited right now. This Lucian's real freaking bad. His build is like, doesn't make any sense. They have one tanky person. I don't know if the Lucian's like salty that I've been split pushing for a lot of the game, and then I'm just getting juiced out. Or what's going on with that? I'm gonna go in on this. I'm so freaking juiced out, dude. I need to stay away from Teemo though, he's pumping. Oh man, Teemo's pumping now. This is brutal. They juiced him up, hardcore. It's like not a bad fight though. Graves is not here. Oh yeah, this is a good fight. This is it right here. This is it, baby. This is it, this is it. Yep, yep, yep. Lucian should probably just go zone the Graves. As long as Ivern doesn't do that. Wait, what? Alright, whatever. I mean, I played the game perfectly. We just have people that are... You know, like they fed so hard and then they built just trash items. Like it can't just be a Lucian, I'm certain. Like, yeah, this guy has no MR. I just go on this, screw it. I do have Maiden coming up in a second. I'm just in a position where I have to do it, you know what I'm saying? They're just gross, grody players. It's like, look at this and we're like, ew. Creature. <laughs> it's the creature. Might be able to do, get this round on this guy. It's a creature. 950 gold. What the hell? Like, where's the sprees coming from? I don't understand. Like, isn't everyone zero deaths right now? Dude, I can sell my boots for like war mogs or something. It's just like the game gets kind of gross at this point where like I can't get like a legendary item with all my gold. They should have 6k gold items. I can sell like not my boots for. It's like, what do I get now? You know, the game gets really weird in this situation. Dead man's, I guess. Did I even mute them? Like they haven't been talking at all. Ugh. Weird players. Oh my God, this is the biggest Yorick, dude. How much do I have to put out for this fight to go my way? I have to kill the Teemo maybe? Maybe to kill the Teemo to start the fight? Is that the win con? They're waiting for me to go on the Teemo though. And Maiden's getting shredded by the Teemo already. All the Teemo's mushrooms are being put out right now. Yeah, we can, they're split up. This is good. Teemo flash, I think Graves might have flashed as well. It's not enough, need to be doing more. Not doing enough. Uh, root that. 
chase the Ezreal. Don't. Not doing enough. The Lucian still has R, by the way. If Lucian just figures out how to, like, build, I think we can win a fight. I could sell Holebreaker as well. I have to do that, I guess, for the next fight, probably. Would be the best option. Undoubtedly, right? Black Cleaver could be good. Do they have armor? The game is so gross, though. Like, look at where I'm at right now. I have nowhere to go with my build. Like, how gross is that? It's like a kid's game. Not a game that is from a $500 million a year company. That's the, like, hard part of, like, understanding the game mechanics and stuff. It's like $500 million a year buys you this. And this matchmaking system, too, is, like, it's so outdated and gross. There's nowhere to go with the build. Like, I just don't even know why I'm still playing, to be honest we have not been able to win fights and like any gold I get is a throw because I'm not able to improve the build anymore. The only thing I'm able to do is potentially like shut one of them down. But like I'm not getting anything off of it and we just lose. What a gross video game. I'll forget about it in, okay, I'll give it two weeks actually. Maybe a month actually. I'll take a month break after this one. Cause that was a lot of disgustingness that I'm gonna need to, yeah. I don't think you're ever gonna have a good a top laner as the one you just had, but a uh, good coper or whatever you're trying to do there. If only I could get a legendary man. If only I could invest that 6K gold in an item. Damn dude, it's like a $500 million a year company could design something like that, you know? They could design a end game item for you to strive for, to carry the dumbasses. 11 times it says top gap 15 deaths 10 deaths 8 deaths like imagine feeding all that gold to dumbasses <laughs>